Greetings and welcome to my face reading secrets of the people in the news session. Just a reminder, if you're interested in the subject of face reading, you can watch on YouTube my introduction to face reading and face reading 101. Today, our face reading session is devoted to Recep Tayyip Erdogan, president of Turkey. He is appearing to be one of the key players in the latest escalation of the Middle East drama, so it's worth, I think, to see who he is. First, I will speak about his personality that, as you know by now, is embodied in the face, and then we'll look at his profile, the part that is a physical embodiment of the temperament, telling us who the person really is under the mask. So, President Erdogan. It looks like he is Mars. Look at the picture too. A triangle, clearly. But at the same time, you can also see Saturn, picture three. So is he Mars or Saturn? He is both. He is what we call Saturn over Mars. First, his Mars, Mars part, Mars personality. Mars is most action-oriented of all personalities. Impatient, ready to fight, has a short fuse. Uh, he's fun-loving, generous, and courageous. These are general characteristics of Mars face. Now he is also Saturn. People with Saturn faces have most perseverance in everything they do. They are always organized, meticulous, they are willful and deliberate in their actions, quite opposite uh, to the Mars face. But in this person, remember, it's all coming together within one personality. Something, uh, some interesting features. His right eyelid, as you can see, is kind of drooping, uh, which means he's either on drugs or he's not trustworthy. And frankly, I don't think he's on drugs. His left eyebrow is way above the right one, which means a lot of internal tension. Uh, his upper lip is very thin, meaning does not tell you what he really thinks inside. But Saturn over Mars has its own unique characteristic. It stands for a person who has a murderous impulse. I have a little story to tell you about this particular face type, Saturn over Mars. When I was learning morphology or face reading some 25 plus years ago, my instructor then, Gerald Epstein, when introducing Saturn over Mars face, said to me, you know the football player O.J. Simpson? His face is Saturn over Mars. That was five years before the infamous event. Uh, let's look at O.J. Simpson. Here you can see the same face, the square, and at the same time you can see clearly the trapezoid uh, of the Saturn. So, Erdogan's face is somewhat smaller than Simpson's face, yet it's still Saturn over Mars. Now let's look at his profile. He's clearly a bilious. Look at picture one. Straight line from the forehead to, to the chin. A bilious corner of the jaw, picture two. But if you look at the picture one, you can also see tilted forehead which we know is impulsivity. The forehead, which is very much like someone you may know. I will show you uh, later the picture. Uh, but mainly he is a bilious. Remember, in my previous readings, two people were identified as bilious. Hillary Clinton and Vladimir Putin. Bilious. Lots of stamina, will, determination, commitment. Total commitment to the cause. Um, Bilious are natural leaders, often admired, but not necessarily loved by their followers. The Bilious are long-term runners, long-term planners. In every possible way, they have great endurance. They have the patience and the will to endure and to keep going till they get what they want. The how for the Bilious is not that important. The important thing is to get what they want. Uh, Vladimir Lenin, Adolf, Adolf Hitler and Mahatma Gandhi were all bilious. And as I already said in the past, beyond morphology, uh, there is personal morality and individual choices that we make in our lives. Here's another picture you may appreciate. 
uh, as you can see, uh, Erdogan and Hitler, similar forehead, uh, arrow number one. In the corner of the jaw, uh, number two. In the ear, very similar, number three. The wing of the nostril of the President Erdogan has triangulation, number four, which stands for uh, either jealousy or competitiveness. And his chin has a cliff, uh, number five, which means a sense of self-importance. And the bulging space above the eyebrow, um, number six, or you can call it the lower part of the forehead. Remember, the forehead consists of three parts, upper, middle, and lower. The lower part of the eyebrow means, when it's bulging, means that a person's thoughts, his intellect, is directed toward material gain. So he actually loses to Hitler, who had crazy ideas, but for the sake of others, of his, the sake of his country. This guy has crazy ideas, but for the sake of himself. Hey, does it seem that the portrait of President Erdogan is not too favorable? Well, I tell you what I see. And that is all for this reading. See you next week.